The downturn in the American economy isn't just hurting U.S. businesses. It's also hurting our trade with China because as Americans buy less, we also import less. Well, today, Long Island educators gathered to examine the problem and what it could mean, as Denise Harlick reports. These educators gathered on Long Island today to try to assess what effect China's slowing economy will have on the United States. And China really relies on trade to, to such a high proportion of their economy. And if trade continues to slow, it doesn't look good for China. How can China grow when the rest of the world doesn't grow, especially the United States, which is the primary destination for Chinese products. Today's economic conference on the CW Post campus in Brookville was co-sponsored by the New York Institute of Technology and Post. These educators say one reason for China's economic downturn is the reduction in U.S. consumer spending. But as that drops and China's economy slows, what effect could that have on the United States? Right now China is a major supplier basically of buying U.S. Treasury bonds. So it's been, able, it's been financing essentially a lot of our, our debt and uh, it's been enabling interest rates to stay low. Now, even though it remains unclear exactly how China's slowing economic growth will impact the United States, the president of MIT says enrollment in China's universities remains strong. Education is one of the things that China has in common with America, that, that it's the number one priority for families, so it's, and, and getting ahead is tied to both speaking English and having a good education. And this professor says China's slowing economy could help U.S. businesses. American companies who want to position themselves in China, if they take advantage of this large market, they have a second chance. I do think it's very important that um, we understand, I think, in a sophisticated way, uh, how the world is interdependent. In Brookville, Denise Harlick, Ally News Tonight.